Welcome back to another Figma tutorial. Today, we will demonstrate how to work with topography in Figma. I know, sounds easy, right? Topography is not just about picking a font. It's about how you use it to convey your message. In Figma, consider factors like readability, mood, and brand consistency. Experiment with different font styles, weights, and sizes to find the perfect combination for your design. Let's explore some best practices. If we select that text area, we can modify the font using the panels on the right. We can change the font, weight, and font size. Figma makes it easy to modify the line height, which is also known as letting. When line height is set, it is usually on auto. It is based on the current font size, but you can also adjust it to your liking. This option I would never ever will use. And that's letter spacing. Very similar to tracking. You can modify the letter spacing within a word or text box. When you increase letter spacing, it makes the gaps between letters wider. On the other hand, decreasing letter spacing brings the letters closer together. With a text box container, you can change the container to auto width, fix, or auto height. I usually would use auto height so as not to worry about excess text box containers being too long, versus manually adjusting the text box container. We can change the text alignment to be left, center, or right side alignment. It's possible to align the text inside the text box to be aligned to the top, middle, or bottom of the container. For more type customization, click on the three dots to open the type settings panel. There are three stages, basic, detail, and variables. Let's start with the basics here. We already did resizing and alignment. Now we can change the text decoration. Make the text underlined or strike through. Notice how the preview in the panel shows you real time what the change could be if you hover over the options. Want to change the text case to uppercase, also known as all caps? Change the lowercase text or title case when individual words in a sentence start with capitalized letter details. Some fonts even allow small caps. You can trim the text to be cap height to the baseline or leave it as is, as a standard default. You can create lists either as bullets or numbered lists. An interesting option in Figma is paragraph spacing, which controls the vertical distance between paragraphs or blocks of text, enhancing readability and visual organization. I often forget this feature, which allows you to truncate your text. For instance, if you have a lengthy text in which it is followed by three dots, your text remains intact but hidden until expanded. Let me demonstrate how to expand, revealing your complete text once again. Okay, let's click on the detail stage now. Here, you can play around with indentations such as hanging punctuation. You can place quotation marks outside of the text box container. A hanging list does the same for the bullets in the list. Would you like to create an indentation for the first line of a paragraph? Simply enter the number of characters and the first line of text will be indented accordingly. Case sensitive forms maintain upper or lowercase letters within words or sentences based on their position. For example, Watch closely as the, as soon as I hover over the check mark is aligned to the top and shifts to the middle of the line. Is that all? No. You need to scroll here. The scroll bar is invisible until you hover over the right hand side here and the scroll bar would magically appear. Scroll down to see more, a lot more. In the number section in the text, details refer to the settings related to numerical characters within a text layer. This section allows you to adjust the specific styling, positioning, and formatting options for numbers such as choosing the font, size, weight, and other properties specifically for numerical digits in your design. Ladder form refers to the visual design and style of individual letters or characters within a typeface. Within a certain selection of fonts, a ligature refers to a typographic element where two or more characters are combined into a single glyph or symbol. For example, some letter combinations like FI, FL, and FF in certain typefaces where the individualized are joined to form a ligature glyph. This includes aspects such as the shape, size, weight, space, and overall appearance of letter. Figma provides option to customize letter forms and topography settings to achieve the desired look and feel for text elements in your design. Style assets let you access alternative glyph designs within font, such as different letter forms, ligatures, or stylus variations. Kernian pairs adjust the spacing between specific character pairs to prove visual harmony and legibility. This fine tune of letter spacing assures a balanced and thusly pleasing typography in designs. Think back to when we did literatures with combinations like FI, FL, and FF, where Kernick would help here. 
Lastly, in the more features section, fraction denominators, fraction numerators, and scientific inferiors are typographic settings related to text formatting, styling, and display. For example, if I show you a fraction denominator to display the denominators of a fraction in a smaller size, it shows below the baseline. Or fraction numerators display the numerators of fraction in a smaller size above the baseline. Okay, let's scroll back to the top and select variables. Variables may not be visible due to recent changes I've made. Slant gives you more precise control over how the text is angled, while weight refers to the thickness or boldness of the text. These variables allow you to dynamically adjust the slant and weight of text elements within your design, providing flexibility and control over topography. There you have it. We've covered the basis of topography in Figma. In our upcoming video, we'll dive deeper into creating styles with our text. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next tip and trick. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.